Well, a gameplay trailer for Star Wars Outlaws has dropped, and to no shock at all, it has been ratioed across the board. The graphics seem to be on the same level as Jedi Survivor, but when it comes to the gameplay, fans and gamers right now aren't happy. <laughs> Gotta love that she survives an explosion from a thermal detonator. And that didn't even look good. <laughs> that looked so bad. <laughs> But as you can see here, the person playing the game ends up killing a couple individuals here, and the entire spaceport does not get alerted. Not one enemy makes their way over to that area. This is brutal. What is this gameplay? What the fuck was that? How to save 80 euros in 10 minutes, literally. That thermal detonation is the worst thing I've seen, ever seen. In a modern video game. Yeah, that was pretty fucking bad. There's better thermal detonations and explosions in KOTOR 2. And the game is over 20 years old now. Ubisoft executives are getting a little bit evasive after investors questioned potential low sales for Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows. I personally think Shadows will sell pretty well everywhere except Japan. But Star Wars Outlaws, I cannot see this fucking game selling well at all. It'll probably be a massive flop, especially when you have things to take into consideration like the extra missions and Jabba's Palace and all these other things that they wanted you to pay extra for just to get a little bit of extra content. And all these different price points ranging from the Seven seventy nine ninety nine to the a hundred and thirty dollar version, or you can just spend the fourteen dollars for the month and play the game on the streaming service. Ubisoft is fucking falling down a cliff right now, and apparently they have responded to the plethora of complaints about the Outlaws gameplay. It says here that these negative comments were brought up at Ubisoft's most recent quarter one sales report call. One investor from Bank of America questioned Ubisoft's narrative that the game was receiving positive feedback and even questioned if Ubisoft would delay the game following the negative feedback. I haven't seen any positive feedback for this game, and if there has been, it's been very little. Probably a lot of bots or AIs saying the roughly the same thing, the same comments of, I can't wait to explore Star Wars Outlaws in this galaxy, or I can't wait to take control of this character in this exciting galaxy. We've seen it time and time again when these companies try to run damage control and buy out hundreds of Twitter accounts with blue check marks. The company's chief financial officer also added, We've said for Star Wars, the level of quality, the world, and the experience, it's really very high. We are really leveraging our engine, and I think people will love it. I'm glad the financial officer knows all the development workings of the game. The CFO is going to sit here and tell us that the engine of the game, that people will love it. What the fuck does a financial officer know about a video game engine and how it works? Or the quality of the world? Or the world building? Or even the game experience itself? Has this guy ever played video games before? Has he played anything other than Star Wars Outlaws? Sorry, I'm not gonna take- I'm not gonna take word from your financial officer on how a game engine runs. We take a look here, Ubisoft's, uh, stock just plummeted 12%, roughly around the time of their quarter one sales meeting. This is most likely just gonna be another massive disaster on its way, probably dead on arrival, but I would like to see what the player count is once this game drops, and how many copies it does sell, if it does any at all, and how many people, which we'll probably never know, how many people buy the streaming service version or the Game Pass version of this game for Ubisoft compared to flat-out purchasing it.